Hey everybody, it's Adam. Uh, today on Tested, I have a new friend who was an internet friend for a while, but now he's an in-shop friend. Meet Eddie Zarek. Eddie. Hey everybody. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Um, so I'm gonna just lead you down a garden path here. Scary enough. What is this? That is probably one of the most fantastic little robots from my childhood, Weibo from the movie Flubber. Okay, and I worked on Flubber. Which is incredible. And I, I did all the vacuum forming for all the Weibos for Flubber. And then um, while working for Jamie Heinemann at M5, uh, Jamie and I built all the stunt Weibo. So every time you saw Weibo hit a wall, that was one of our mm -hmm. foam filled guys. Absolutely. And at the end of production, I saved a bunch of parts and pieces and I put together my own Weibo. Now the reason this is salient is because I found you online. Was it, were you doing a build log on the RPF? That's how it all started. Okay. I kind of got started building Weibo. Um, I was in between projects between R2-D2 and BB-8 that I was working on at the time, of course, and I came to a stopping point. Hey, I need this part. You know how R2 parts are. Yeah. I had like a month or two to like kind of wait. So I'm like, hmm, what should I do now? Because I can't just sit around. So I started, hey, Weibo. I want to build Weibo. No one's ever done it before. No, no one's. I've been asked about it a bunch over the years, yeah. but no one's ever done it. And that's why I was like, well, that'd be a great one to start because I can't find any information anywhere. I didn't even know about yours at this point. I just started looking online. I found some stuff, but very, very limited information. So I just started building and then I'm watching a tested video and sure enough, look who's in the background. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And knowing how much you use the RPF, I was like, ah, I'll throw them over messages. This is after I started the build log. Well, and I, I checked out over there and saw what you were doing and then yep. I posted to you and did I put it up on the on the? I put them up. Like the, you put the, them. Good, yeah. good. I I took some pictures of mine with calipers and photos. Yeah. So you could see how big everything was. But you were impressively close. I was. I got really close. How I did it is I took a screenshot and I the LEDs. You know, Weibo's got the re, the red and green LEDs right. in here. They either has to be a certain size. They either come in three millimeter, five, or ten. Okay. That's just the way it is. So I I assumed they were five, and they weren't because I made it Weibo about this big. That's right. So when I took it and stretched it out to the ten millimeter LEDs, which are hard to find by the way in those colors it made about 10 inches, which kind of made sense. And then I took that and then started using my own digital calipers, if you will, yeah. on the picture, because it was to scale, and then and, went and with that. The trick to me is the camera parallaxing always distorts the, the, the relative sizes of things. So the idea that you were able to maintain a relatively consistent size across the whole thing is really impressive Thank to you. me, because I tend to build everything 10% too large or 10% too I'm small. Usually, I'm usually smaller, that's yeah. how it usually works. <laughs> we all have a proclivity. Yeah. So, which, uh, so these are some early test parts? Yeah, these are like parts that I printed that didn't make sense. Um, um, for example, like these cards are too thick compared yes. to yours, so that yeah. kind of threw that entire thing out, that whole piece, mm -hmm. it, and this was one of the, I made them thinner in this piece. And these are all printed out on a MakerBot? This is a MakerBot, yeah, all out of ABS. Out of it comes out looking like garbage, as you yeah. can see all the parts, so I take each part, clean them up, sand them, prime them, and they're in four pieces, because that's about as big as you can print on a MakerBot. That is Without commitment. It. This is hundreds of hours of printing hundreds. all told. Yeah, absolutely. Really? And all the time putting into 3D designing it, which is a pain. Because you want to get all the parts to fit right. perfectly. And, yeah. and I see in this one, you've actually got, um, you've actually built uh, fins for making the, uh, the, the yeah. wings open. Yep. Um, you've got holders for servos going on. Um, and this is a 3D printed center platform. Correct. Um, but you went uh, later on to aluminum. Yeah, the, the ears just bent too much. So I just, I couldn't, I couldn't take that. It yeah. drove me crazy. So <laughs> I threw this file into my router and uh, cut it out of uh, eighth inch aluminum. Wow. Um, so can I ask what you do for a living that you <laughs> have so many great toys to play with in your garage? What I do for a living, I'm a full-time firefighter. Ah! That's what I do full-time, but on my days off, which I consider my real job and passion is just building. So I've had all kinds of machines. You have laser printers, uh, sorry, laser cutters, 3D printers, uh, routers, a mill, lathe, kind of just, my hobby. Fantastic. So you don't, do you have a laser cutter? I do. Have you started a fire in your laser cutter? Yep. Excellent. Don't ever go use the restroom while you're cutting something <laughs> no. and then come back. It's axiomatic. Every single human I know who owns a laser cutter has at some point had to put out Caught a fire. Caught a fire, yep. Yeah. And I had to replace a few parts. Yeah, there is, um, uh, Tom Sachs, my friend who's an artist, says that every artist's biography includes a chapter called The Fire. <laughs> well, that's true. In which they yeah. lose all their stuff. Um, okay, so uh, you went all the way towards making a Weibo, but you didn't just make a Weibo, a static Weibo. Oh, you, no. You made one that was actually animated. As, I wanted to make it work as much as possible, up to flying, which 
I didn't do that, but and, it's and, close enough to it, yes. And you've uh, included an entire four or five part build log of all of the problem solving you did. You grabbed sound files off the, off the movie. That's what, that was my original plan, but I actually ended up hiring a voice actress to remake all the sound files. <laughs> no way. Because I couldn't stand hearing all the background music and noise, so I was like, can't do that. That's dedication. It man. was. I really <laughs> appreciate, I think that's amazing. Yeah, she did a great job. Um, and uh, yours also took a picture? Well, so Weibo does this in the film. Right, she takes a picture, Polaroid camera uh, picture pops out. Actually, I think I have a picture somewhere. Who knows where it went. We, but, will, we will link to it in the, in the we'll cut to it right yeah, now. Yeah, there, there, There's the picture. There it goes. Okay. So basically she takes a picture of Robin holding Flubber. Yes. And then it goes crazy and goes everywhere. And then the picture pops out. Well, I'm doubting that actually happened. You'd probably know more than anybody. It just looks like they probably took yours and shoved a Polaroid picture out. That's exactly how they would do it on set. And back in the day, that's how you have to do it. Well, now yeah. technology's progressed to a point where I actually can pull that off now. LG makes a small pocket printer about this big. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting, hence why the hole is in this frame. So this hole is all for the functionality of Weibo actually printing. Printing a picture out and sticking it out. Now it doesn't work as fast, it takes about a minute or two to actually print these pictures, but I yeah. I think we can accept some extended time. Yeah, I love it. It's like dilation a, yeah, given the a fun photo booth, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, this is, uh, let's see. I think we're ready for the reveal. Um, sure. Let's see the, uh, the the Weibo you've actually made. Let's grab it. Here she is all completed. Okay, so this is the last bit. Hold on. First of all, take a look at this. You made her fly. I wanted to get as close to flying as possible. Right. So luckily, uh, Servo City sells awesome parts that you can kind of create your own robotic arms and things like that. So you tinker toyed uh, a flight system for Weibo to be able to sit around and, and simulate simulate flight. If it could. Um, and uh, this, is, this, is, this is for my collection, is that correct? Absolutely. Unbelievable. Absolutely. I, 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 I'm gobsmacked. Uh, I can't believe you haven't weathered it, which is very exciting to me because weathering is my favorite part. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I can tell. Me, I'm terrified. See, my, my mentor, Mitch Romanowski, and I um, spent days with pastel paints, uh, pastel like, crayons of different shades, weathering the bits and the pieces of this. And the weathering isn't that clear in the film. She looks very, clearer uh, than you think. Yep. Um, Until uh, she got caught in the fire, then it was really bad. Right, right. Um, so uh, let's fire her up and, okay. and watch her go. Uh, let's... She takes a few minutes to boot up because okay, you've got power here. There you go, there's your power. Plug her in. She'll kind of jump up here. And then she's basically right now just booting up because there's a Raspberry Pi inside of it right. and an Arduino. So right now the Raspberry Pi is kind of turning on and getting everything going. So we'll give it a second, but she'll snore here and wake up just like she did in the movie when she yeah. snuck in on Robin uh -huh. sleeping and then she went back downstairs. That's what's going to happen here. Amazing. You, well, like I said, about 30 seconds or so. This is, um, this is a whole nother level of injection into a film of, of making her do this. Um, I also, you really nailed the computer cards. Um, I, I took the... Good morning, Adam. Uh, Who's the professor? <laughs> oh and that's Weibo. Gosh. I love that you nailed the computer cards. Uh, Nilo Rodas Gemero, who did a lot of amazing design on the Star Wars films and was the art uh, production designer on Flubber, mm -hmm. um, used, I believe, the names of some of his kids as, uh, as some of these tape marks on the computer cards. Well, I, I was actually trying to draw them. You can see in this one, horrible. Yes. But what I ended up doing was the screenshots you sent me. Yeah. Are the, oh, oh. Whoops. I took each one, and basically, that's just not working very well. <laughs> yeah. I pretty much. Take, took the screenshot from what you sent me and then reprinted them out nice. on oh, there. That's great. These actually look a little bigger than yours. They do look, look a little bigger than, than mine. They're just a... Uh... Yeah, well, it happens. It does. And on all those files I actually have on the site, so when people download, you can download all these 3D print files, because why not? All that's on there. So all those, are, I did them as PDFs. You print them one-to-one -one scale, they'll come out for your cards, that's including amazing. the stencils to create oh. the actual uh, copper copper lines. That's incredible. Um, can we run through some of her functionality? Yeah. Let's go ahead and um, do this one. This is one where, because I wanted a mix of on the screen what you saw in the movie, but mm -hmm. also like throw something else in there, maybe like a scene from the movie so you understand exactly what she's doing. So in this next uh, one she's going to do is when Flubber goes missing and starts dancing mm -hmm. while the professor is at the basketball game. Okay. So this is her looking for Flubber. Flubber? Flubber? Where are you? and Flubber dancing, and then she'll start dancing too. Oh my gosh!
And that was a scene from when yeah. she did the exact yeah, yeah. same thing. And how I found like that video file of the, the girl dancing, I went on the RPF and I'm like, hey guys, I need help. Cause I, I don't know where this video is from. Cause I want all the original footage right. where they originally got the video from. So I took screenshots of like about 15 different clips. So guys help me out. I don't know where they're from. I know this is goofy. I just couldn't tell you what cartoon it's actually from. Right, right, and those guys right. did a tremendous job. I'd say within a day, about 90% of them were solved. That's the, one of the things I love about the RPF, oh, great. that research arm of people jumping in and using whatever bit of weird knowledge they've got oh, and it's helping unbelievable. You out. And all they want to do is help. Yeah. And those guys are quick. And they're they're jump, jumping at the bit waiting for me to upload these files, which they're <laughs> available now so they can take them. But yeah. I look forward to an army of Weebos. Okay, let's see some more uh, functionality. So what this one it? is going to be the one where she does take a picture. Now this one doesn't have the printer in it. Okay. But this one will still simulate the picture and show it on the screen and do all that. Amazing. So here we go. Yes, sir. Okay, look this way. Smile! <laughs> Bravo! On car! <laughs> you have actually built LEDs into an old photo cube. I took an old GE photo cube, because that's what used it. Yeah. And then actually had to use a disposable camera because it's not an LED, it's an actual flash bulb. Oh. Because I still want, LED doesn't, it's not the same. No, it's not it's right not the same. So I wanted that, so I take an old disposable camera, funny enough, are actually hard to find now. Yeah. But luckily I found one at Walgreens, ripped that apart and threw that into there. Because you only, the GE Magic Cube works like four times. Right. That's no, not enough. I know. So, and it's mechanical. Amazing. I found that on an accident when I was taking it apart. <laughs> yeah, it, po it popped and what the, yeah. So. We, we did a student film in which we had an effect where things disappeared and every time something disappeared it was like five people off camera with those GE <laughs> Magic, with the paper, paper clip yeah. firing them once. Yep. Um, so this looks like it opens us a little bit more. This, as far as it's going to open, this, this allows you to basically open it up and take a look I on see. the inside. Um, oh, that was that? That was that. Oh, Due nice. to having servos in it and not using actual like, um, was it the brake line? Right, right, right. I, this is about as much as I could get it to open and close with one servo with the amount of room I had to work with. Totally understandable. I was using um, Autodesk Inventor, which is great because you can build your assemblies and put the servo in it and oh, open nice. it and you can watch how it's going to open. So I knew before I printed anything. It'll tell you where things are going to bump into each other. Right. Oh and my it, God, that's great. All it did is bump into everything. So that is about as much as I could get to open up without it breaking. Sure, itself, sure, yeah. sure. Um, is, are there any other functions that she does? What else? Um, there's about, she's got about eight lines. Okay. So we can just keep going through them. You know, should just go without me because <laughs> I get car sick. <laughs> this is when she he went flying in the car for I the first time. Gyro. No. Oh boy. And that's you know Robin talking to her back and forth. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can talk to her. I've I've learned the lines now, <laughs> so it feels like she's talking back to me. But I'm gonna have to learn the lines. It's, and, it makes and it a lot through. of fun. I love that you've made the camera lens go in and out. Again, it's a servo here in the back that just pulls it in and out of that same track. Um, we were using, Actually, we were pulling the lenses off uh, a, a, an early digital camera. Not digital, but it must have been. I looked everywhere for that lens. Yeah, I, I now that I think about it, it must have been a video camera. It must have been a home video camera. There's a screen, there's a shot from behind the scenes of, you can see Weibo taken apart, and I can see what it is. It looks like a pretty big mechanism, but I couldn't find it to save my life. Yeah, so I, I can't was remember what it was. And my first one didn't look that good, but you sent me the few. The yeah. few props, which I actually have in my bag with me. And when I saw all that, I redesigned it for yours. And then that's also when I noticed the little jets you could see in, your, in the original that they have the, a pivot point. And right. I knew I was screwed. I had to do that. So I redesigned <laughs> the, entire, the entire bottom so the, the actual jets would move as well. Well, and so there were two types of jets. Um, in Gary Plattick's uh, much more complicated and functional robots that did everything, right. um, the jets moved on all the axes. Okay. Um, but um, Jamie ended up building several functional puppeting Weebos that had much of the functionality. Okay. They had the wings. I don't know if this opened. The, this definitely moved and so did this. And he put in just two axis uh, okay. movement on yeah, the Yeah, I jets. knew this whole thing would move forward and back as well. Yeah. It was real cool, but you know, it takes four guys to puppeteer it. Oh yeah, no. I, I, that that I, was what was so interesting, but doing it yourself, it was about as much as I could get for the room I had to work with, yeah. Uh, and so, uh, are, do you have any future plans for Weibo, or is this the uh, the completion and you've- I think this is the completion, because I'm always, re after, I mean, doing yours is the second one, I'm yeah. like, now I'm like, all right, I, I'm Weibo'd out. Yeah. Like, what, what's next, and that's what I'm looking at now, to see what, what I'm gonna do after this. Eddie, it's, I can't wait to see what you do after this, because this is a masterpiece. Oh, we're, uh, we're all, like, super impressed. You you guys can't see behind the camera, but the whole testing crew is like- <laughs> this is, It was the best, 
robot growing up as a kid. And I rewatched the movie, it made me love it even more. Oh, that's so, so fabulous. Thank you so much for Absolutely. bringing it. Thanks for adding this to our my collection. Um, I wanted to, here's the thing. I would like you to have my no. original. Here's the reason. I, I, this was an early film of mine, and I, while I really enjoyed working on it, I'm not going to love having this as much as you oh, will love I would, yeah. having this. And you can do what you like with it. You can take pictures of it, supply measurements to anybody, or build it into your own Turn, chassis maybe, if you yeah. want. And make it an animatronic. Um, it's Absolutely. all the original pieces and That's parts, amazing. including, yeah. um, actually, this was the really, one of the hardest parts was that bellows. That bellows was a super custom item. That's where you guys got it? That, and we had them custom made. And, oh, wow. Um, I only got one because I think I stole it from Jamie's shop. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> um, but I Excellent. want, this is oh. this is my trade back to you. Well, thank for you. For this amazing bit of work. Funny enough, I got something for you too then. No way. In addition to this? I do. What does Weibo, uh, here we go. What's Weibo without? <laughs> No way! Flubber. Did you make this? I did. Actually, this is my first time ever making a, a mold. You're an insane person. So if you Hold got, on, if you got um, more power, and then she will, he turns she will on and, <laughs> and then Flubber pops up in the front. Ah! Oh, Cause you gotta have that. Dude, of course you do. I figure it was an easy thing for me to start making a mold, never done a two part mold before, and there it is. That's so not bad. <laughs> there was a lot of work done after it came out of the mold. Clear I'll resin is a nightmare. nightmare. It was a pain. Yeah, it was clear a pain. resin is never not a pain in the ass. Dude. So there you go. Adam, it was a fun that time, man. magnificent. Absolutely. Eddie Zarek, everybody. See you next time. See you guys. Thanks for watching Tested. Check out more of me, Weibo, <laughs> and other projects on Tested.com. See you guys. Bye. Thanks, Weebo.